Welcome to another video. I hope everyone's doing all right. And that this week I'm gonna have a go at another Northeast classic. Super simple this one. Fantastic. I've done the Savoy dips a few months ago. Loved it. But this week it's a proper little meaty feast. My me mother used to make it, my gran used to make it. I've never made it, and I've never had it since the 80s. But it's lush. This week we're gonna have a go pinnacle. Can anyone remember that? Fantastic. So grab yourself a cuppa, put your feet up. Only takes a few minutes to prepare. Fantastic. Let's get into it. Right, super simple this one. We'll be using the oven and you'll need to preheat it to 180 degrees. We're going to cook it for about an hour and you're going to need an oven proof dish. I've got this enamel one, fantastic. I remember my gran using these type of things and that. I got this one from a charity ship for a quid. And all I'm going to do, I'm just going to spray it out with a bit of firelight just to stop it sticking. We'll set that to the side and we'll run through the ingredients. Fantastic. But for this one, there's a couple of staples. We'll run through them, then you can chuck extras in. It all depends what you've got. People used to make it different different ways and that. But for mine, in, in, in the way I can remember it, is it was potatoes in slices, about three or four mil. I might have done a few too many here, but it's all right, it's all right. Sliced onion, that was a medium sized onion. Some stock, that was two stock cubes in half a pint of water. Salt and pepper. And corned beef, which I'm going to dice up. You can dice it, you can slice it, make it the way your mother used to make it, and you'll, you'll, you won't go wrong. And my mom and that used to chuck some streaky bacon in and some black pudding. Absolutely fantastic. Right, let's start putting it together. Putting it together couldn't be simpler. We're just going to take a layer of potatoes around the bottom. We're just going to layer, layer it all up. Fantastic. Tell us in the comments what childhood things you've missed over the years and things that you reminisce on and that. Better still get in the kitchen and have a go. Have a go to something that you haven't had since your, your childhood. It's lovely man, it's lush. I say this one used to be cheap as out. You could go to the butchers and get your, your meat. Go to the fruiters, get the, the onions and the spuds and that. Fantastic. Right, layer of potatoes. We're gonna put the onions in. And with the meat, we're just going to sprinkle some of this in. Like I say, some people make layers and that. Depends how posh you were, really, like. I think my ma used to just chuck it all in, like. We're going to put a bit of bacon in. There was no pre-cooking in that. You just chuck it in, man. Just chuck it in. Fantastic. Bit of streaky bacon. Bit of black pudding. Not everyone's cup of tea, but I like it. And it was always in. And we're going to do the same again. Put another layer of potatoes. Rush this one, man. If you want to see us doing things outside the kitchen, you know, I've got another channel called uh, Joe Does This and That. There'll be a, a link in the description. Check it out. I'm, I have done bike rides and uh, Airfix models walking videos, whatever it takes me fancy. It's where I'm learning to use the cameras and that properly, to be honest with you, like. But fantastic, we're going with another onions. Repeat the procedure over and over until it's, until it's done. I love these old fashioned classics, you know, they're so simple, but they're so, so nice, aren't they? So nice. A bit of um, bacon on. I've definitely prepped too much uh, ingredients, like, but it's cool, I can use them in different things and that. Lush. Bit of black pudding. I'm just going to put a nice layer of potatoes across the top. Then I'm going to tip the stock in. Fantastic. How easy is this, man? Anyone can do it. You see, I ain't no Jimmy Oliver and out. I'm just there. Uh, Someone having a go in his kitchen, just love making the videos, they're fantastic. That one's a bit thick, so I'll probably leave that one. Stick them all there, top, rush. 
I'm going to give it a nice coating of salt and pepper. Get rid of these because we don't need these anymore. I'll put it ingredients in that in the description. They won't be exact because I'm, I'm not an exact type of cook in that. I'll just go for it in that. But uh, right, we're going to put it. We're stocking. Just find a gap. You don't want too much stock, but you want enough. And it'll be thin. It'll be a thin gravy when it comes out anyway. Right, and we're going to whack the lid on. And that's going to go into the oven now. 180 for about an hour. The longer the better, really. Like The longer the better. But after an hour, I'm going to come back, take the lid off. We'll have a look. Then it's going to go back in for another half an hour to brown the potatoes up. Fantastic. So I'll see you in an hour. Right, it's been just over an hour. Let's see how this is coming on. Might get a bit steamy. Let's grab a hold of it. Nice and hot. Hey, check this out. Look at that beauty. Is that bringing back any memories for you? Lush, man. Lush. Right, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to return it back to the oven for another about another 20 minutes, to half an hour. So let these potatoes brown up a bit. And fantastic, we'll bring this one in. Right, we've had our final half hour. Let's get this thing out the oven and see what we've made. Check that out. Look at that. Does that bring back some memories for you? Absolutely fantastic. It's red hot. Red hot. Served in its enamel pot and that. I'll get the little camera and have a closer look. Look at that. Doesn't that look lush? It's like 1980s Tyneside. Absolutely fantastic. Black pudding and that. All lumpy and that. Now, the corned beef. Lush. The potatoes have just started to turn brown. I'm going to serve mine up with a little bit of broccoli. We'll taste it and we'll bring this one in. But what do you reckon of that? Tyneside Classic? Tyneside Wearside? North East? Whatever. They're all great. They're all great. Fantastic. All that's left now is just to serve a little bit up and have a taste. Look at that. Panacoli. Fantastic. When was the last time you seen this? Lush. Cooked bacon and that. A black pudding. Look at that. That is fantastic. That like. Get in the kitchen, have a go yourself. Make some of that you haven't made since you were a child and that. Look at that, fantastic. Well, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you liked it. Hit likes and subscribes for us and that. I keep forgetting to say that, but um, I have done this time. And yeah, fantastic. Have a great week. I'm on my other channel next week, so uh, if you want to see us out, out the kitchen, go and have a look at uh, Joe does this and that. There's a link in my descriptions. We'll have a quick taste and we'll sign out. Fantastic that, fantastic, like being 10 years old again. Right, have a great week. See you next time. Ta-da.